Hey everyone, Steve with Off Grid 48. Welcome back to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. So most of the videos, if you've been watching me, and most all of my videos are about building the actual uh, gas fire. Um, today I want to talk about uh, actually running uh, generators with uh, wood gas. I get a lot of questions around that, and uh, I want to take a time to run through that with you. Uh, so anyway, so those of you that uh, watch me, I appreciate it. Um, those of you that are new to wood gas and want to learn or haven't built your wood gas fire yet, I encourage you to watch, to tune in for the other videos, and also uh, take advantage of my new book, The Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. It's got everything in it that you need to learn how to build, operate, and maintain this gasifier. This is our V3 uh, wood gasifier. It's based off of the Peterson design, which is about 10 years old. I've done a lot of uh, corrections, uh, improvements, and enhancements to this gasifier over the years, and this is what we teach in our, uh, in our workshop. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to go through uh, everything that you need to know about running a generator or an engine, uh, an internal combustion engine, uh, off of wood gas. But before we get into that, I just want to kind of show that we're going to, I'm going to be using my V3 wood gas fire. Everything that we're going to show you with, uh, regarding running the engines on wood gas uh, can be applied to any, any wood gas fire. Um, just be careful that you understand the difference in the wood. Uh, there's, just like there's differences in the wood gas, there's heating quality wood gas, and there's engine quality wood gas. There's also differences in the wood gas fires themselves. So if you're going to be running an engine on wood gas, you want to make sure you're using a high quality wood gas fire uh, and you're running engine quality uh, wood gas. The differences in the temperature in which the gas is created. If you, uh, heating quality wood gas is made at much lower temperatures, it still has a lot of the contaminants in the gas, the tars, they weren't burned off during the combustion process. Uh, the engine quality gas uh, reaches uh, high temperatures in excess of 2,000 degrees. Um, they can burn off these contaminants and what they call crack the tars so that these tars don't remain in the gas and go to your engine. Because if you're running low quality, heating quality wood gas into an engine, you'll likely destroy that engine in a short order of time. So make sure you're using good quality engine wood gas and to get that you need a good quality gas fire. Um, okay, so with that, um, just some, some basics. What we're going to find is we're going to fire up the, the gasifier. Uh, from a cold start, we should have usable wood gas within typically in about three to five minutes. What we're going to do is we'll, when we fired it up, we're going to first flare the gas, uh, make sure that we've got good combustible gas. Once we have that gas lit on the flare, uh, then we can turn off the blower and we can connect it up to the engine. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through uh, the connection of going from the gasifier into the engine. Um, we use a very simple interface into the engine. Uh, you don't really have to modify the engine at all. Um, basically, we just come in through the, uh, the air filter. So the, the generator itself can still be used to run on its native fuel. So if I've got a gasoline generator, I can run it on gasoline or wood gas. Uh, basically makes a single fuel into a bifuel. If I've got a bifuel generator that runs on gasoline, propane, basically I can make it into a tri-fuel. So I don't have to modify the engine to run. I basically get the benefit of just adding wood gas to whatever the native fuel is. And you can go back and forth. So if you want to, want to run it off of gasoline, you can. If you want to run it off of wood gas, you can. So it's a very simple uh, interface. So we'll go through that. I'll show you the little engine kit that we use. Um, and it's easy to make yourself or we'll, we, can, we sell these as well. Um, and then I'll show you some videos of running some different size engines um, and then go from there. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, guys, all right, so we're back. All right, so now we got the generator and we've got some uh, generators here with the wood gasifier. So one of the things that I really like about this design is it's configurable. So I can run really anything from a, a two kilowatt generator up to about a 25 kilowatt generator, or even up to a five liter engine for vehicle applications. So rather than have to worry about a different size gasifier for support a different size generator, I can just configure this gasifier to run uh, the size generator that I want. So it's kind of nice, like I said. And so the interface that we use is pretty, pretty straightforward. 
Uh, what we do is we just have an adapter that comes off of the uh, air filter and then a hose. So basically what, what I have is we put in this adapter plate. Now this is a one inch, so this would be for smaller. If I was going to run this little two kilowatt, this is a four kilowatt generator. I have a one inch hose, so I put in a one inch nipple on that. For the larger uh, generator, that's a 12 kilowatt. I put a, a one and a half inch uh, a nipple on it, and then I'm using a one and a half inch hose. If I was going to go larger than that, you know, up to, up to a five liter, I might go up to a two inch hose. So, you know, that all relates to the amount of gas that that, uh, that, that engine needs to run. So basically, as I said, the, uh, the connection is pretty straightforward. We start off with this adapter plate. We remove the air filter cover, uh, configure a plate to fit in there, put the cover back on, connect the hose. Then we have to, between the, between the generator and the gas fire, I have to have a T connection because I have to feed the wood gas in, but I also have to introduce air so I've can, and, and a valve that I can have a, uh, uh, an adjustment for my air to fuel mixture. So I just use a simple T here. This T can go on the, on the uh, generator side or it can go on the gasifier side. It doesn't really matter as long as you're not too, too far away. So, and then I put a, I put a little uh, air filter on top of the T connection. So in this case over here on the 12 kilowatt, you can see I've got that coming right out of the uh, air filter. The only modification I had to do was cut a hole in the air filter cover so that I could put that nipple through. So I've got that one and a half inch nipple coming out to my T connector, then I'm going up to a one and a half inch valve. I put an air filter on the top, and then I've got the one and a half inch nipple that I'll connect this one and a half inch hose to that goes over to the gasifier. And then from there, once I'm running, I'll use that valve to, to adjust my air fuel mixture from there. And then once it's set, I said, uh, you, you, you don't have to keep adjusting it unless you're really changing the RPMs on the, on the engine. So uh, once it's set, it'll start running, and you can make some fine tuning with it on the on the uh, ball valve. And you can also, in place of that ball valve, uh, use a, an electronic valve, uh, which I'm, uh, I don't know if I'll cover it in this video or not, but you can put an electronic valve on there as well to, to make that air fuel mixture adjustment. Okay, so those are the components. I've got separate videos out there for that if you wanna check that out. Now what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and fire up and configure one of these generators to run. All right, so we fired up the gas fire. So, you see here, got a good combustion inside. Now we're just gonna wait about three to five minutes on the monitor. Once we've got ignitable gas, then I've got the connection set up here going to the generator. See here, I put the T on this gas fire side, and I'm going straight into the adapter plate into the air filter. So once I get up to the temperature and I'm clearing the gas, we'll shut off the blower and fire up the generator. Okay, so you see here, go up the temperature at 1700 degrees. I've got, I've got enough glare, or you can't see it. You can see in the shadow down there. If I put this over that plane, the plane can't see it in sunlight. And I've got a look there after about five minutes. The temperature's up, so now I can go ahead and turn off the blower and switch over to the generator. All right, welcome back everybody. Okay, so now we're gonna do an engine test. So we've got the gas fire all fired up. We've got a good, good hot flame. We've got up to speed temperature, almost 2,000 degrees in the heart. We've got a good flame. Now we're 
we're going to go over to the generator and swap the valve. Turn off the turn off the blower. You can see here right now we're being flared. The secondary valve, two inch valve, got a one and a half inch hose. It's coming over to the generator. We've got a little adapter plate on the air filter, and then that little ball valve is where we're going to be controlling controlling the uh, air mixture. So now we'll go ahead and swap the valves and fire up the engine.